Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon and I show you how to build software without coding. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the new cursor as a coding companion to complement your software development process. I know it's a little bit contradictory to have a channel called How to Build Software Without Coding and then show you how to use a an AI coding companion. But I believe for developers and non-developers and no coders that this tool is one to know. What you're going to do is visit cursor.com, hit download, and you're going to download the platform. It will walk you through some onboarding, but it will eventually open up an example project. This is not the example project. This is one of the projects that I am actually going to go over and show you some of the features. If you want to get to the point like this, because it might not be clear to you, you want to hit file, open folder, and just open a folder. So here I have a random folder. There's actually uh, nothing in it. So you can see random blank folder. If I wanted to create a new file, I just hit new file there. If I wanted to create a new folder inside of that folder, I just hit new folder. If you are on my channel, chances are you are a no coder or familiar with no code or experience in automation, and you might not be too familiar with Visual Studio Code. So this setup is just like Visual Studio Code, which almost 80% of anyone who codes uses. So they'll be very familiar with this setup. This is a very familiar setup, very friendly setup, easy setup to use. If you can get familiar with this, it is perfect if you ever want to enter the coding space too. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you some of the features. So we're gonna to go to my snake application. And this is a very simple ap application. It started like this. I found a random HTML project, snake game, very, very simple. And we are gonna make some changes to this using cursor. So there's four key features that the cursor's onboarding will show you. The first one is chat, so you can chat with code. All I have to do is highlight it, press Control L, that chat dialog will open, and all I can I might say, what does this do? And it will give you a breakdown of what that highlighted section does. This is beautiful for learning how to code. Makes it super, super easy. What we can also do is we can chat with the entire code base. So here I have highlighted a snippet from a particular file, but we can chat with the entire code base or specific files. So let's go ahead and chat with the entire code base. What I'm going to say is, what is this project about? So now you can see it's reading all the files and it tells us that we have implemented a game in JavaScript. That's our arcade style game where the player controls a snake. Perfect. We can also edit files here. So I am going to, what I'm going to do is edit this entire thing and I'm going to add a subtitle and paragraph and we don't have to be very specific in what we want. So I can say, add a relevant subtitle and paragraph. You can see it's added a relevant subtitle and paragraph and I haven't said a whole lot. What we can do is press control and enter to accept and now we've accepted those changes. What we can also do is use the auto suggestion feature. So if I was to add another paragraph and you can see here it's already creating some suggested text and all I have to do is press tab and now I have that suggested text in my code base. So we've made some changes, basic changes to the HTML. I want to see what this actually looks like. So I'm gonna show you how to see what this actually looks like. 
What I like to do is use an extension called Life Server. So we can go to extensions. I already have this installed. Uh, you can import your VS, uh, VS Code extensions. I already had this installed. So what I am going to do is just initiate this, go live, and you can see I have my game. I have my text that I added. I have my subtitle. I have everything that I just added using AI. What I'm actually going to do is show you how to manipulate the code using AI too. So what you can see with this game currently is that it's very simple, same speed, not too hard. What we're going to do is every time the user scores, we are going to make it incre we are going to improve the speed. So we're going to increase the speed every time the user scores. To do that, we're going to go back to our code base. We're going to go to this script.js. We are going to edit this and say every time the user gets a point, make the snake move faster. You can see it's set an initial speed. It's using the initial speed here. And what it's doing here is every time a fruit is A or every time the score increases, uh, the speed is going to also increase. So we might want to accept those changes. And what I might do here, and just save. What I might do here is hit go live. Try this again. So you can already see it's increasing the speed. Getting increasingly harder and I lost. So that's a very simple way to use cursor or begin with cursor, especially as a non-developer. A lot of people are tackling a lot more complex projects, but start with HTML, start with JavaScript, start with CSS, start with like the basics of coding when you learn how to code, which is usually web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. It's a great place to start, especially for no coders. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on social media and happy hacking.